For breakfast, I decided to make some protein waffles. Now this recipe is a combination of two of my good friends. For the waffle, I used Emily's recipe. This one is a staple of mine. I used my friend Kylie's peanut butter Greek yogurt spread. Now this adds a significant amount of protein. It's really simple to do. And then I stacked everything together to make it a beautiful banana blueberry waffle tower. Let's give it a bite. Wow, this looks freaking amazing. Mm. Hi, Chicky. Like, honestly, it feels like I'm having dessert for breakfast. It's actually really healthy. For a little snacky poo, we've got some Greek yogurt with this amazing keto granola that we get at the farmer's market. This is bomb. There's no other way to describe it. Mmm, babe. It's so good. Mmm. You know, right? It's this granola. Do I need to make it myself? Yeah, I think you do. It is supper time, and I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for being just like a, a staple in my life. I feel like through HelloFresh, I've definitely learned how to cook, and I have the recipe cards to prove them. I love saving these because I love recreating each meal. They're all so delicious. Tonight, we are going to be making the miso maple glazed salmon. Inside each bag, you'll receive seasonal farm-to-table ingredients that have been picked at peak ripeness. They also travel to your home within seven days, so you know it's freaking fresh. They also have such a variety of diet plans, whether you're vegetarian, pescatarian. Our family is personally on the pescatarian plan, and it just works. We love it. You also have the option to swap out any proteins or sides so that it fits with your lifestyle. Personally, we love HelloFresh because it just takes the stress out of figuring out what to cook, especially in the night. By dinner time, we're on reserve energy. So I love the fact that we could just open up a bag and it's already laid out for you. There's directions and we end up with just a nutritious, well-balanced meal. And plus, I learned how to cook something new. If you guys are interested, go to hellofresh.com and use my code GENM16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That is a great deal. I will also leave all that info in the down bar, so click it. For dinner, we have miso glazed salmon with uh, assorted veggies, a little bit of rice, and Lennon has salmon broccoli balls, sweet potato on the side, and pitted cherries. Oh, buddy. Mm. What do you say? Say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good job, Enjoy, buddy. sweetie. All right. Oh, straight. Thank you so much, babe. Yeah, of course. It's just delightful. It looks so pretty as well. <laughs> thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. You like it? It's good, huh? Oh. Uh, mmm. Love it. Good morning, everyone. For breakfast, I did a little spin on the classic, the original brekkie bowl. Um, usually, we do this with broccoli, but this morning, I thought I would switch things up with some tri-colored cauliflower. It's all underneath a bed of fresh rice and a perfectly hard-boiled egg. Let's take a bite. Mm-hmm.
dinner, we have soy sauce tteokbokki. This is actually my first time ever preparing it. I saw Cafe Maddie make it in one of her videos and it looks so delicious. I think this is one of the first times I've had tteokbokki where it hasn't been hot, yeah, spicy. Yeah, spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and usually I love the flavor of it, but I'm always fighting the pain of yeah. sweating buckets. So right. this is a mild version. I love it. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm surprised that the rice cakes are so like squishy and perfect mm -hmm. despite it being frozen. Good job, babe. Thank you. I know Buddy's gonna like this too. We'll see. Mm-hmm. You should. For breakfast, I kind of wanted to go for like hotel continental breakfast style vibes. We've got some soft scrambled eggs, some potatoes, and some wilted spinach. Breakfast looks so cute this morning. I'm gonna put a little squirt of ketchup. And, okay, this is the best combo. Ketchup with tapatio. This is like my favorite combo for french fries or anything or eggs. We made this concoction when I was in um, my after school program and we would always buy just like a huge bag of french fries and just mix ketchup and tapatio. It was, it's, just try it. It's like, it's, it's literally the perfect sauce. Mm. saw Wild Wonder and all the sharks said it was the most delicious drink they ever had on the show. And then we went to Pavilions and we saw that they had the drink. Mm. So then we bought all the flavors and it's actually really freaking good. It's good. For our family dinner tonight, we have whipped up a pesto pasta with tons of veggies. There's two zucchinis, broccolis, and on top, we added some chicken breast. And for Lennon, we made him a butter pasta. He has a little bit of chicken and some raspberries. Wow, thank right. you, babe. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Oh, Yummy. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Good job, babe. Mm -hmm. mm. Good job. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For this morning's menu, we have breakfast quesadillas. It's stuffed with veggies and topped with slices of avocado. This looks really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add a bit of tapatio. No. Oh my god. This is why I can't have nice things.
dinner, I made a veggie udon stir fry. We got a lot of veggies here. Every veggie that had to be used, we put it inside. For Lennon's dinner, he has a broccoli sesame udon noodle, cherries, and then some cheese because we don't have any protein right now. Mm-hmm. Cheese, yeah, that's cheese. What's this, Lennon? Cheese. Cheese, yeah. And then what's this? Nana. It's noodle, yeah, it's a noodle. Mm-hmm, the noodle. Mm-hmm. You don't want it? No, no. You don't like it? No. Can I have the noodle? Yeah. I thought I would have a good old fashioned breakfast sandwich. We are using fresh sourdough bread today from the farmer's market. This looks incredible. Mm. Mm. This is a good balance if you want breakfast, but also lunch. It's a good brunch food. For dinner, I tried something completely new. This is my first attempt making these seaweed wraps. <laughs> I don't even know. Pulls, yeah, I just I don't really know what to call them. Like they're they're squares, seaweed squares, and each layer has a different ingredient. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm trying to say compliment, but I can't finish chewing it. <laughs> it's but strange. I'm crying at this stage. It's, 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 it's honestly bizarre. I think it's the type of seaweed I used because it's it's starting to crumble, mm. you know? Hold on. It's marginally better with the sriracha. This is supposed to be like a spam misubi, mm -hmm. but I just, I, <coughs> I substituted pretty much all the ingredients. So <laughs> it's not really a spam misubi. I don't know what it is. Yeah. 